Let's go racing four wide, saluting you, the great race fans here at Weed Sport. And as my good friend Jack Burgess always said, you've got to have a favorite out there. Let them hear it as they bring it down here in the front straightaway, four wide, going into turn number one. Kenny Willis on the pole as they bring him down into turn number three. Jan Boussier on the outside. The pole looks like the quicker car coming down into turn number one. Kenny Willis up there in the number one spot. Kenny leads him coming out of the corner of the car making a quick move. Lightning Larry White. He bombs his way up to the number three, up to the number two spot. Bringing it off at turn number four for the first time. It'll be Willis with the advantage. Larry White there for second as they complete lap number one and two. Eyes on Lightning Larry. Jimmy Phelps in the 99J moves up. Trouble, we've got one up and over. Roy Bresnahan in the 02 taking a wild ride with that machine in turn number one. And on the outside, it is Lightning Larry White. Down they come, Wills kicks the rear end of that car out as they do a drag race coming down the front straightaway. Lightning Larry, and we got a couple of cars uh, together down to between turns number one and two, Shane. Kerry Terrance in the 66 went around the Shark Man, Ian Boussier, no place to go. He is now working on Steve Bernard for the number seven spot. Steve Bernard in the number 54, not out of this battle. He is nine points out of the lead. Hang on, Billy Decker. Decker in trouble. Dumping some fluid down there in turn number one and two. The Franklin Flyer pulls it down to the infield. A good three-car battle for the number one spot. Shepard trying to get that hole open on the inside. Lightning, Larry blasts to the outside, and Larry's got a half a car advantage moving down. The back straightaway down into turn number three. They're going to be bringing it out of turn number four. Larry is going to be scored as the leader coming across here in lap number 58. Keep your eye on Jimmy Phelps, the JB Installations number 99J, running in the fourth spot. A good run down the back straightaway. He'll go to work on Matt Shepard's number nine H for position number three. Shepard on the inside. He'll take a look to Wills. Couldn't do it as the number 99J of Jimmy Phelps still there for fourth. Chris Rabby running in fifth, and here comes A Bear. A Bear looking to take the sixth spot away from Rabby into turn number three. And Shepard works on to the inside to take away the number two spot. Now Jimmy Phelps in turn number 99 working on the inside of Wills going down in turn number one off of turn number two. As he heads up off a of turn at number one and two and into the corner, yellow lights are on for David A Bear. And Rabby is off the pace. Chris Rabby is off the pace. The points leader comes to a stop on the back straightaway. Caution lights are on. He may have a tire going down, Shane, and uh, purposely brought that yellow out. And he heads directly into the pit area, coming down into turn number one. He has got that outside lane dialed in. And meanwhile, Jimmy Phelps is going after Shepard for the number one spot. Phelps will swing it to the top side. Shepard on the bottom, wheel to wheel into turn number one and two. Superman down low, the Baldwinsville Bandit on the top side as they work their way down the bank straightaway. Phelps seems to be a little bit better off a of corner number two into three and four. How's it gonna play out? Off the corner, to the line. Phelps, your race leader by a bumper into one. Jimmy handily takes away that number one spot. Now swings way up on the outside and Shepard dives back down onto the inside. Teammates going at it for positions number one and two, $7,500 on the line. Here is Jimmy Phelps, the Beeville Bandit, riding down to between the corners off at of turn four. Checkers is out, $7,500 to Jimmy Phelps. Matt Shepard, Lightning Larry, Matt Williamson, Ryan Susie, the Dr. Danny Johnson, six, Pat Ward, seven, Randy Chrysler, eighth, ninth is Steve Bernard, Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause? Jimmy Phelps. I tell you, it feels pretty good. You know, it was it was fun. You know, I, I know the the yellow is probably dampened things a little bit. I mean, we had a good race car, and obviously, uh, if you're going to win a race at Weed Sport, you're going to have to go through Matt Shepard. That's a proven fact, and uh, our car was pretty good. Pacing the field here for the four wide. Ladies and gentlemen, get off your seat and on your feet. Wave the drivers as they wave back to you. 
Go Nuclear Late Models about to go green. But first, we go four wide. At the VP Racing Fuels making power point. Green flag is out, ladies and gentlemen, we're underway. Hustling down into turns one and two off the corner. It's gonna be so pass to the lead. John Waters look to the inside. Had to back out of the throttle, and that gives the 125 of Lee Gill the second spot. Off the fourth turn, they hustle now. It's the 12 of Kyle Sopas leading lap number one. Battle for second, starting to shape up. Gill got high there. We got a couple cars around in turn number one. Yellow flag is out. Drivers taking evasive action. Turns one and two, he's got a good run on the bottom of the speedway. They're side by side. Now look, lead change down the back stretch. The 11 of John Waters, power move off at turn number four. He'll lead lap number three. So John Waters now taking the top spot. And look at Charlie Sandercock from 12th up to fifth, and he's not done. He'll look to the high side. Here in it turns one and two. Oh, three car battle with a lap car. It got tight off at turn two. Gill able to squeak by, as does the three X of Kevin Cook and Sander Cox right there. In a turn three and four, he'll look to the inside of Kevin Cook for fourth off of four. On the back stretch, using the high line, he picks off Cook. He also picks off Sopaz. The 57 of Sander Cox on the move now from 12th up to third. Xander Cox still on the inside. He drives it in even deeper off at turn four. Him and Gill make contact off of four. Now Gill shoots to the high side. Using lap traffic as a pick. Gill now your leader down the back stretch off at turn two. That drops Waters back to second. Xander Cox now to third. More lap traffic in the way of the leader. Xander Cox giving the chrome horn to the 64 of Chapman and that cost him. Lost a bunch of time there on the second place, Waters. Dive to the inside, three wide with lap traffic. Sandercock threads the needle off at turn two. He's got the second spot, and the 3X of Cook follows suit for third. Lap traffic playing a key role in this one. Sandercock squeezed in between two lap cars. Oh, he's nearly in the wall. Kevin Cook makes contact. We got a car up and over on the front stretch. Red flag is out. The 64 of Wayne Mohawk up and over, and the red flag is out. Safety crews on the scene. The driver is out of the car, ladies and gentlemen. Let him hear it. Give him a round of applause. As the three X of Kevin Cook now up to second, not done, getting a good run off of turns one and two, and he's looking for the lead off of turn number four. Drag race to the line, Kevin Cook, your leader here on lap number 19. He gets by Gale, and now Sander Cock trying to get by as well. Drag race down the back stretch for the runner-up spot. It's the 3X of Kevin Cook leading the way, and one and two in points, battling three and four off the fourth turn, right to the back bumper. That is the line he needs to run. Oh, trouble for Cook, he slipped up in turn one, and there goes Sandercock. New leader down the back stretch. That is Charlie Sandercock. Look at Cook, he looks to the inside. They touch, and now Cook around. Yellow flag is out as the leader comes together with the second place runner, Charlie Sandercock. Meanwhile, trouble for Sandercock in at turn number three. Your leader's in trouble. Oh, look at that, the rear end out of the race car. And now Gill takes the lead, and Sander Cock in trouble, and it turns one and two. For out of Lafargeville, New York, pulls it in, it turns three and four for the final time here tonight. Your feature winner here at Weedsport Speedway, Lee Gill. Second will go to Brandon Mowat, third to AJ Kingsley. The 125 of Lee Gill. We got a couple combinations of tires we can run, and it allowed guys to get going early and we elected to run some stuff that a little harder and took us a little while to get going. We Out of the way, we are set to go and down they come off of turn four. Charging into turn number one, Gary Terrance will lead them up into the corner with Billy Decker and Gary Tompkins right there. Tompkins, the fast qualifier here tonight, redrew the third spot. He'll hold on to third as they come around to complete lap number one. Kerry Terrance leads the way. And Gary oh, make Tompkins. it Billy Decker. Oh, my. 
Billy Decker leads them into turn number one and two. Billy Decker took that lead coming down the front straightaway, but uh, Carrier was a little bit quicker going into the corner as the same thing happens going down the back straightaway into turn number three. Coming down and Gary Tompkins is in trouble as he pulls up wide coming off of turn number two. Saw some smoke come out of the number 84. Pat Ward able to keep the spot. Now Fuller surrenders the position to Larry White. Fuller back on the top side. They have Jan Boussier right in front of them as Fuller will roll through the turn and Larry White's gonna get underneath Pat Ward to take the spot. Hang on, Rich Galata out of shape in front of Pat Ward into turn number one. And Billy Decker has once again opened up a big lead as he's got a two second lead. As they head into turn number three. And Lightning Larry wants to make a race of this as he tries to get up and around the outside of Kerry Terrance. Kerry who's been running back there to number three spot and Larry now picks off that spot. Larry here in the lake going, boy, he has got a burst of speed going off that turn number two and down the back straightaway. As he works on Shepard for the number two spot, there'll be five laps to go. The second place runner. Final time down the back straightaway, Billy Decker all by his lonesome. The LJL Racing number 91 brings it off a turn number four and the Franklin Flyer will win the modified feature event. He brings it down, he's gonna take the win. Lightning Larry's gonna be in the number two spot, Matt Shepard third. Well, I hope we have a little bit better package than we had tonight. Tonight, just a tough track, uh, tough weather conditions. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out and uh, playing with us tonight. And uh, Gypsum Wholesaler car was really good. Uh, we didn't time trial earlier as good as we wanted. We made some changes and uh, we got it freed up for sure. And I think that paid dividends in that race. Thank you very much for track owner Al Hankey, for promoters Andy, Jimmy, and Shannon Phelps. We thank you very much for joining us here this evening.